Today, we are going to compare two popular cameras, the Canon 6D and Nikon D7100. We are going to take a look at their features, who they are for, how they perform in various use cases, user experiences, and which one is the right one for you. Links to both of the cameras will be listed in the description below. Let's get started. The Canon 6D and the Nikon D7100 are two digital cameras that were officially introduced respectively in the 12th of February 2013 and the 25th of April 2013. Let's take a look at how their specs compare to each other. We tested both cameras to assess their performance in different scenarios. Let's take a closer look at our ratings for each of them. Here are our ratings for the Canon 6D. For portrait photography, we will give it a 8 out of 10 rating. For street photography, we will give it a 8 out of 10 rating. For sports photography, we will give it a 10 out of 10 rating. For day-to-day -day photography, we will give it a 9 out of 10 rating. For landscape photography, we will give it a 6 out of 10 rating. Here are our ratings for the Nikon D7100. For portrait photography, we will give it a 7 out of 10 rating. For street photography, we will give it a 7 out of 10 rating. For sports photography, we will give it a 10 out of 10 rating. For day-to-day -day photography, we will give it a 7 out of 10 rating. For landscape photography, we will give it a 6 out of 10 rating. Next, we will take a look at some sample photos from the Canon 6D and the Nikon D7100. Keep in mind that these photos have editing done to them, so the result from your camera might be different. Let's start with the sample photos. Here are some sample photos from the Canon 6D. And here are some sample photos from the Nikon D7100. Next, let's take a look at what other users of these cameras have to say about them. Here's what people have to say about the Canon 6D. This Canon 6D camera is a game changer. The feel of the body, the satisfying shutter, and the high ISO performance are amazing. The GPS and built-in Wi-Fi capabilities are impressive, but the HDR feature is not great. The full-frame sensor makes lenses come to life, but the expensive 24-105L lens didn't impress me much compared to the cheaper 28-135 lens. Overall, it's worth the splurge if you can afford it. I recently bought the Canon 6D to replace one of my 5D Mark II bodies, and I have mixed feelings about about it. The 6D has some improvements over the 5D Mark II, such as better low light performance and video quality, but it also has some drawbacks like the lack of a FEC button and a less preferable button layout. Overall, it's a good camera, but whether it's worth the upgrade depends on what you primarily shoot. Here's what people have to say about the Nikon D7100. I have been using the Nikon D7100, and I am very satisfied with its performance. The full-size optical viewfinder, weather-resistant design, and great live view on a large LCD display are some of the standout features for me. The camera has a fantastic autofocus system and works great for static objects such as macro work and landscapes. The high I never thought I could get such great performance from a DX crop sensor camera, but the Nikon D7100 has exceeded my expectations. The dynamic range and sharpness of the photos are fantastic, and the focus system is top-notch. I was considering switching to a full-frame body, but after trying out the D7100, I was amazed at the results and ended up buying one for myself. The low-light performance is great, and I've been able to achieve amazing results with my DX lenses. I no longer feel the need to upgrade to a full-frame camera, as the D7100 delivers incredible quality at a more affordable price, thanks to Nikon for creating a game-changer. To conclude, here are our overall ratings for both of these cameras. Canon 6D, we will give it an overall rating of 9 out of 10. Nikon D7100, we will give it an overall rating of 8 out of 10. 